like much of Britain, Worksop was once a thriving market hub, the community embedded in the coal industry. Stephen spent his entire life living here and remembers those better days. This town you could buy anything. You could even go on market and a man and make you your trousers for £10, any pair of trousers you want. Now the high street contends with empty shops and anti-social crime. Stephen says he wouldn't leave the Nottinghamshire town, but wants something to change. There should be more money spent on it, instead of like just letting everybody struggling know about But if they don't want to spend money on it, why don't they just flatten it and start again and, and build all new from the beginning and have a, a better town? Worksop's part of Bassett Law. In 2019, the constituency was one of the many red wall seats that voted Conservative. As part of an election promise, Boris Johnson said he'd level up former Labour heartlands after decades of inequality. Fast forward two years and £4.8 billion is available. Councillors here hoped they'd get £20 million to help boost business around the high street. However, when the first round of levelling up cash was released, Worksop wasn't on the list. A surprise to Bassett Law's MP, the town's considered a priority under the government's plan. He claims that the bid was delivered past the deadline. When we actually saw the list, uh, we weren't on the list of successful projects, but we also weren't on the list of unsuccessful projects. That meant that questions had to be answered, and it later transpired that uh, we'd either submitted a bid late or indeed no bid was submitted at all, and that really, really shocked me. Bassett Law District Council was in charge of the bid. Its Labour leader challenged the accusation on Twitter, describing the government as incompetent. Earlier this week, the argument landed in the Prime Minister's lap. What can this government do to help support areas like mine who have struggled with their bids in order to make sure they are successful the next time around? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thank you very I thank my honourable friend very much. Well, the step number one is to vote out those dozy Labour councillors, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, but I can tell him uh, that the, but, uh, and I thank him for the excellent representation uh, he gives to Bassett Law, uh, Mr Speaker. And I can tell him the second round of bidding for the Levelling Up Fund will open in the spring of next year. When asked about what happened, a Department for Levelling Up minister confirmed that the bid was delivered late. In a statement, Bassett Law District Council said that while it is disappointing not to have been considered in the first round of funding, it is working with the department to gain feedback. There is more funding to be won, but some in the town are sceptical. There's still no clear guidance of what levelling up actually means. For so many people who live and work in places like Worksop and other similar towns, they've heard the phrase levelling up used so often in so many speeches over the last two years that it's starting to lose all of its meaning. And many people are sceptical of this cash funding and if it will ever come to places like this. We're given second best. Up north we've always been classed as second class citizens. Yet we're your grafters. Every time you want anything, you come to north. So don't you think it's about time if you realised this levelling up means levelling up 50-50. Not you down south and us up north. We're one country and one country should be on the same money. Government policy around levelling up is expected before the end of the year. The next round of funding is released next spring. Will Hollis reporting from Worksop in the East Midlands.